What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Madden 22 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. It is week three of the NFL season. We are home at Heinz Field. Cincinnati Bengals made the trip down the highway to take on these Steelers today. And uh, both teams are 2-0. and oh. So this is an early battle of a division, AFC North division leaders. And our first division opponent of the year. And that was not a good opening kickoff. Boswell makes the tackle. Chris Boswell screaming down the field on special teams, blowing people up. And here's Joe Burrow, off to a good start this season. Just at the start of uh, what will probably be a long career for him. He's, uh, he's tough. He got everyone involved. Uh, he was a manager. He really was. That's a great play. And of course, our guy Ben Roethlisberger, just at the end of his career, maybe his last season in the NFL, and our goal get him back to a Super Bowl. Mixon just rejects Devin Bush. Gain of uh, nine, I think that was. So Burrow's got Joe Mixon a halfback. He's got a Tyler Bo Boyd at wide receiver. Uh, the great rookie is great so far anyway. And Jamar Chase, number one. Bush had a little revenge on that play, stopping him in the backfield. Brings up a third and three. They're coming out with two tight ends. I think we're going to go with a four-man front here. Stop. Oh, he falls forward, I think, for the first down there. Man. One of the peculiar peculiarities of this year's game. And guys falling forward through three or four yards after they're hit. This defense for the Steelers, but I guess our guys do it too. Their squad improved to two and oh on the young season. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now getting the pressure in there, but not, not enough to stop the completion. Joe Burrow, two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback up. Correction last game, I called a Derek Carr, David Carr, um, who is uh, was his, his uh, brother who played in the league. So notice that when I was listening to the last recording. Obviously not correct. Burrow is moving the ball down our down the field on us. Completes it, Boyd. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Mixon with a first down carry. Mixon powers forward for a couple. Broken tackle. He'll be brought down short of the 15. Call it a gain of four on first. Carol Edmonds comes up to make the stop. That call makes sense. Go with a little zone here, I think. On this drive, and once again, they show passing formation. Showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a shot. Oh! And they go the wrong Kim Hayward says no. This will be a Looks like a tight end around or something there. Jet seat for the tight end. Broken up. Or maybe he just dropped it. Either way, that brings up a fourth down. And these Bengals are going to be kicking a field goal. So we uh, held them up a little bit at least, uh, kept them out of the end zone. Kick is good. And they're off to an early 3 0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard. 
but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start. Harris out to the, or, um, McLeod out to the 20. And here comes uh, Big Ben. His number's on the season. Got an interception each game so far. I like to cut back on that a little bit. Of course, we've got the rookie, the big rookie, Najee Harris, in the backfield. Number 22. He is going to be a big part of this offense today. They don't hand you out anything this early. A lot of games left to get through between now and the playoffs. And there's another rookie. Fryer moves to tight end. His second start of the season. Had a pretty good game last time. Uh, a little bit on the slow side. But uh, playing well for us so far. We'll see how it's, see how it unfolds with him uh, throughout the season. And there's connects with connect with Claypool. Something we couldn't do last game. There we go. Yeah, Claypool kept getting open deep against the Raiders. But we could not connect with him to save our lives last game. So there we go. 79 yards on two plays. Big Ben, two for two. Guys are happy on the sidelines. Don't be too happy too early, guys. Let's go, Boswell. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchdown. All right, so the Bengals will come out for their second possession of the game. Coming back onto the field here for their second drive. Move the ball pretty well on us uh, last time. I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring Oh, and that is a blown coverage by me. I think. All division games have a little extra to them. I get too excited when I see that uh, that open door to the quarterback. Got to remember my assignments. Boyd wrapped up by uh, Joe Hayden. Second and seven. Very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to two and zero on the young season. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers. Three of them. Mixon for a couple. That's something that's emphasized each and every. Brings up a third and two. And I think we're going to go with our predator set here. <clears throat> Using the Bears defensive playbook. Really like it. It's got a lot of great sets with the three-four personnel, some different uh, fronts. Oh man! And we can't tackle them. Oh my goodness! So there we go. The Bengals uh, go right down the field again on us. Uh, a lot of. Uh, you know, this Steelers team, not even, uh, really not even close to what they were last year. At least in, uh, you know, who knows in real life what they'll end up doing. But, um, you know, we've got a lot of problems here on this, uh, in the game anyway, Madden 22 uh, version of the Steelers. So, um, nothing will be taken for granted this season. It'll be some tough sledding, I think. Uh, Roethlisberger, uh, I don't know what he did to the Madden Raiders, but they don't like him. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did. Underneath the fryer move. Because you know they'll make some adjustments. Well, this defense for the Bengals very strong last week is a we will look for Smith Schuster here. Well, we if we can get him. Conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like we, we did. won't we did get him. Won't get him. Cornerback out. Not going to take that chance. We'll run the ball a little bit. Coming up in the end of the quarter. There goes Harris for a few. And able to get this one all the way up 
You see his uh, his game uh, against the Raiders there, pretty good. And he he has been a pretty good one for us. That's the end of the quarter. That's what he's doing. He'd like to continue it here in this game. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. As they've got it with a we'll run the ball out of the pistol a little bit here, maybe. Now a give running left is Harris. That plays a little bit like that old Packers sweep with the two guards pulling. Coach likes it. Continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run a little play action with uh, low hopes that Roethlisberger will actually complete a pass, but we'll see. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. He's got a guy open, and yeah, there we go. Typically, we have the guy open, and we miss him by a mile. Like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school. City. Tough to imagine Big Ben as a wide receiver. Finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? Johnson. Down to the two. Or the three, I suppose. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. We're going to see about running this slant here that we like to do on the goal line. Uh, let's try it. There we go. Game might be a shootout. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers have once again taken the lead. So let's see if we can manage to stop these guys somehow. Another terrible kick. Let's go, Boswell. Get down there and redeem yourself. All right, 14-10, 6.34 left in the uh, in the second quarter. They switch, we switch. Fitzpatrick makes a stop. Because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Catch made by Uzoma. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And once again they switch, we switch. Big trucks driving around outside my window. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Here's Burrow. He completes it to Bowling. Another missed tackle. Yikes. He'll be doing some uh, tackling drills on Monday. Probably not. That's but they don't do that, right? NFL coaches probably aren't screaming at guys to do tracking drills on Monday. Shelbert makes a stop. Yeah, I would guess that Mondays are like a big uh, film and uh, recovery day in the NFL. Nobody's hitting on Mondays. 
He didn't even hit on Mondays in high school. Oh, we thought I was going to get a call on that. All right, well, we held them to a field goal, I think, anyway. All right, let's go. So we held them to a field goal. We got to respond with another touchdown. I mean, uh, it's kind of a game of attrition at this point. It feels like. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ah. ten. Maybe not the greatest stop back there on that one. Second and four. Oh, I'm tempted to go a little play action here. All right. This is one of those, hey, is this a bad idea moments? We'll find out. And somehow, the, the defensive back plays the ball better than my receiver does. And he's still running. Yeah. So the defensive back knows to go to the ball. The receiver instead um, allows his route to drift downfield. So it goes, I guess. Somebody got a hand on that. Stay with their four man front. To the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Another shot for Chase. He's got it this time. Chase on the reception. Third and three. We can stick with this four man front. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They give to Mixon to try to pick it Mixon knocked back, somehow defies the laws of physics and uh, regains his balance for a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. All right, let's go with a dime and we'll bring some pressure out of that. Time as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. Not going to switch on this one. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. He gets this one to Boyle, and he does. He here gets beaten off the ball. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. This pass caught in the four. Chase loses yards on his, I think, on the reception there. Back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Now it's Burrow. There we go. There's a fumble picked up by Alu Alu. We've got a minute seven here. <clears throat> Alu Alu forces the uh, forces the fumble and then grabs it. I don't know it's Award that forced the fumble. We'll take a look at a deep shot and then we'll try to work the sideline here. Fitz back onto the field. And he's looked pretty good. It does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes. So there we go. Analysis. They'll take the offset. There's Claypool. No All right, we're not going to waste the timeout just yet. But we are going to go no huddle. That's what they're looking for more of. He'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Johnson on the crosser. Get out of bounds. Just shy of the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. 
keep coming back to that. This uh, this um, this cross wheels plays gives us receivers near the sideline, uh, making catches where they can jump uh, jump out of bounds. There's uh, there's Schuster who doesn't quite get out of bounds, so we will take a timeout there. We got two more. We're in good shape. No need to panic yet. Plenty of time to panic later. There he is again on the... Leave him open on the wheel route. Claypool has a snap. Chase Claypool having a game. And we will be getting the ball coming out of half. That's another bad kick. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's go, Boswell. So what do we got? 20, under 20 seconds here. 17 seconds. I think we're going to go, I mean, they're in a two tight end set here, but I think we're going to go with a cover three and a nickel. J-I-C, as they say. And they're happy enough to get out of this half. Down eight. And we will allow them to. We don't have we only have two timeouts. We can't really do anything anyway. <clears throat> so there we go. Let's take a look at the big giant uh, magic scoreboard as we jog past. Pretty good day of uh, first half throwing the ball. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Let's keep it going. We did have that one dumb interception. I'm feeling like those are going to be tough to avoid with Roethlisberger. He doesn't quite have the zip on the ball that he did, uh, even last season. So here we go. Chase Claypool's had a great first half. The verticals. Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success. I think Friermuth's going to be all right. And give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Let's see if we can get Johnson on a deep crosser here, a medium crosser. Some kind of crosser. From the shotgun, nope. Roethlisberger. We'll go underneath. Playpool again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Second and two. Gain, second and two. We'll just, we're not going to mess around. We'll just pick up this first. Last time I messed around, I threw an interception. There's Harris, I think, has the first down. There's our draft class. Those top four guys are all starters as well as the punter. Oh, no, we didn't get it. Third and inches. Well, let's run it again. Got a 230-pound halfback in Pittsburgh uh, named Harris, so the odds are in our favor. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they can actually get production from their lead horse, see if we can get Friar Muth here. Uh, I don't like that. Ben's throw complete there to Johnson. No gain there on the yeah, uh, Najee Harris has a long way to go. 
numbers because you're able to keep your eyes uh, on the quarterback and see the play. Just to be the best running back in Steelers history named Harris. Second and ten. But I'm hopeful. Oh, that one drifted. Oh, man. Way off target. Second interception of the game. That's just no good. Dang it. Way off target. That floated way to the left. Oh, Ben, you're killing me. We've got to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start. Yeah, it's not going to be easy this season. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that payoff in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage. Turnovers are no good on all Madden. Um, I mean, they're never good in football altogether, of course, but... You know, it's tough to win when you're turning the ball over in this game. That uh, that touchdown that we could get coming out of the half is uh, big. Um, that's big for getting a lead in the second half. And, you know, and then the next... Uh, the next thing is to kind of shut things down with the running game. Grind it out. And that's how you win. But turning over the ball and giving Joe Burrow a chance to fling it around like this, that's how you lose. Mixing not much uh, room there. Second and ten. And we cannot stop him from completing passes here. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back to back nice plays, 12 yards that The game might end up being too interesting. That's probably good if you're watching it, I guess, though. A little frustrating if you're playing it. And that's a fumble. T.J. Watt has it, tripped up by the Invisible Turf Gopher, but that is a turnover. We'll take advantage of that. There he is, right into his uh, lap there. All right. And we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna be running the ball here, I think. Trying to stay out of third and long. Uh, we do have the lead, but, you know, getting that uh, touchdown coming out of the half would have been huge. Um, fire move there. Uh, Schuster underneath. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. In his fifth year in Pittsburgh, a good bounce back last year for Juju with 97 catches. He wants to continue to make grabs like that and get upfield. We got to make this drive count. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant Steelers run, power running, pull back in the game. Something I wish the Steelers would do in, more, in real life a little more is get a pull back in the game and just run downhill at people. They're starting to do it a little bit, I guess. Not really with the pull back, but at least out of single back sets uh, the past couple games with Harris. So, uh, we'll see. 
after this break, you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Harris plows forward. The center ran right past that linebacker he could have blocked. You'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock. I guess he's a rookie too. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use time? A nice block by the fullback. You take in charge. And he'll go down. Najee Harris. Let's give him a little rest here, I think. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to happen yeah. in this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows. Get McFarland in there a little bit, I think. And they're really starting to take over in this game. Just for a little break. McFarland goes nowhere. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. Well done. To All right, so we need to stay out of third and long. We're going to put the ball in the air. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now they'll throw it. Smith Schuster's all kinds of jammed up. Roethlisberger's going to... That maybe could have been a terrible outcome in all kinds of different ways. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the but I suppose it ended up being better than throwing an interception. We're going to look underneath. Actually, we're going to look. We're going to look. Uh, nope, we're going to check down to. Uh, check down to the uh, clear out for Fryermuth here. Once more. There we go. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only Once we get under four minutes, we will uh, go to clock. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll run on first down. Harris bowling forward again. Second and seven. So like I kind of mentioned last game, the other good thing about getting into this uh, empty tray stack formation uh, on second and long is it gets Harris out of the game. It's one of the few formations I have where uh, he is just not even on the field. So that's good. Good for him to get a rest. Third and two. We're going to the big guy. There we go. So I think we're going to go a little early here. We're going to go conservative with the ball carrier. He's the guy they've turned and we're going to go shoot the clock. Thinks, they feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. There we go. Now they work on first and ten. Now Harris. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. All right. Second and eight. On the carry there. It'll be second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football. I'm going to throw the ball. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Throwing on There's Claypool again. And he's in again. Throw that, throw that wheel route when that cornerback's out. Steelers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point for the Bills. So this uh, game has been a exercise in overcoming stupidity, dumb mistakes made, interceptions. I mean, I could say like maybe it's not. I mean, if I want to, I guess I could say. It's not my fault that the ball kind of floated on those two, but, um, you know, 
made the decision to pull the trigger, so I mean, I know what I'm working with in Roethlisberger here. And I know the throws he can and can't make, so expecting him to do that. There's a sack. <coughs> I've got to manage my expectations for Roethlisberger this season, I guess. Bush had four sacks last game against the Raiders. What is happening here with the coverage? Mixon makes the catch, but not much there. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's gonna run off the clock. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That I think is a first down. Caught by Boyd again. Our secondary, our safeties are pretty good. Our cornerback, another position we're gonna have to rebuild uh, through the draft over the upcoming seasons here. Joe Burrow just throw, completing passes with impunity. Hardly even challenged here by our secondary. There's another fourth fumble. Fitzpatrick picks it up. He's got some green ahead of him. And he's gone. There's a nice little punctuation mark to our, our scoring today. Ball knocked loose by Bush. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything. Fitzpatrick picks it up. If we just go ahead and take a knee now. We're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to them. We opponent. finally have this thing uh, under control. So if you watch this game all this time, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to look at some statistics after this. If you want to stick around. There's the guy totally uncovered over there. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He finds his man complete. It's Boyd. And they're able to get this one across. Burrow over 300 yards passing. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. Twenty-two seconds left in the game. We're just kind of sitting back here. A big hit by Bush. We're running a screen. That might be the game. Yep. So there we go, 35-13. Our first win over a division opponent. We've given a sole first place in the AFC North. And um, a lot of mistakes made. A lot of things to think about. Uh, for me in particular, how to um, dial back those urges to try to fit 
passes in with Roethlisberger. And, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at some stats here. That's a great way to close them out. Roethlisberger, not a bad day. So for you know, except for the two interceptions. Uh, Burrow with a pretty good day. But, um, yeah, Burrow with a really good day. Uh, Roethlisberger, just those two interceptions. No good. Harris, uh, 78 yards on the ground. Um, would have liked to get the ball in his hands a little more. But, uh, yeah, not a bad day. Uh, Claypool, a big one, 7 for 179 and three scores. Friar Muth, again, I think doing pretty well at tight end. Uh, Johnson, a little bit quiet for him. Uh, those crossers I was trying to get him open on weren't quite panning out. Uh, none of our offensive linemen embarrassed themselves. Bush led the team in tackles with 12. My dog is all upset here now. We're almost at the end here. Hang in there. Hang in there, buddy. Uh, sacks from Hayward and Bush. And uh, no interceptions. But that's about that. I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, please go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button. Hit whatever button you can think of. Whatever you want. Um, you know how YouTube works. Whatever you do, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.